Hello friends, welcome to jwreasoning.com. First I want to apologize for not making a video for quite some time. There's been a lot going on, but things are good, my health is good, and I'm glad to be back with you. And I hope to do a whole series of videos in the near future. One of the things that I wanted to talk about today was when we, as Jehovah's Witnesses, when we begin to wake up and we begin to see some things that aren't quite right, what do we do? How do we study? The problem is a lot of times we don't know how to study. What's happened is we grow up in the organization or we've been part of the organization for so long that if we're at the door and we meet opposition, somebody says, well, you know, they hit us with something that maybe we've never heard before. Maybe they show us something in the Bible that we've never seen before. And what do we do? Well, you know, I'll get back to you on that. I've got to go do some research. And where do we go? We go right back to the congregation or to the watchtower. We go to the insight book or we go to the watchtower library or we pull out the, they, now they pull out their little phones and they go to the app and they look up the word search and they give the answer, not that you believe, not necessarily what the Bible says, but what the organization has to say about it. But when you're in the ministry, it should be very personal. If you really believe what the Bible says, if you believe that all Scripture is inspired of God and beneficial, as it says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, 16 and 17, then that's what we should be using. We should be using the Bible. All of our study should come from the Bible. Now, the problem again is we go back to the watchtower. Well, it's, it's just like if I was going to buy a car. If I wanted to purchase a new car and I want to know who makes the best car, if I go to a Ford dealership, Ford's not going to tell me Chevy makes the best car or Dodge makes the best car. They're not going to tell me that. They're going to tell me we make the best car. If I go to Chevy and I ask them, well, which car is the best? Which, you know, which manufacturer makes the best vehicle? They're, they're not going to tell me Ford. They're not going to tell me Honda or Toyota or anybody else. It's going to be their brand. That's what they're going to be pushing. Well, when you are a Jehovah's Witness, that is your brand. So when you go to the Watchtower publications, that's the brand you're looking at. You're going to be told all of the things that they believe and why they are the best. But our standard needs to be the Word of God. That's what it needs to be. We need to study. The problem is, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Well, my suggestion is this. Study, read your Bible and study it buy a concordance. You can use the Watchtower Library. It'll help you find words, but that's according to the New World Translation. Buy yourself a Greek or Hebrew Bible. Download on your phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android, there are many apps that you can download that will give you the Greek words in the New Testament and the Hebrew words in the Old Testament or Hebrew Scriptures or Greek Scriptures, however you want to call it. And it will give you word for word what it's saying. And you'll find that this is what I use to show people that even in the New World Translation, in their own Christian Greek interlinear, there are words that have been changed. That you look in the interlinear of the Watchtower and it's either there or not there. And in the New World Translation, it's been altered to support their doctrine. Why? Because I hate to say it this way, but as Jehovah's Witnesses, we're pushing our brand. If I were a Baptist, I'd be pushing that brand, or a Pentecostal, that brand. Whatever you're a Catholic, it doesn't matter. That's what you are supporting. I want you to know that I am a non-denominational Christian, Bible-believing Christian. I don't believe just the New Testament. I don't believe just the Old Testament. I believe all Scripture is inspired of God, and I want to keep a balanced view of that. So as you study, look up these texts. Look up the words. Try to do cross-references. If you know part of a verse or a little bit of a verse and you can't remember where it is, a Google search a lot of times will put you right on the verse that you're looking for. So the point is, study. We can come to an understanding if we ask Jehovah to help us to do that. We're going to talk more about that. We're going to examine a couple of other things as far as study as far as the organization and their brand versus other brands of religion. And hopefully this will help you as a Jehovah's Witness. I realize that Jehovah's Witnesses tune to this site. We don't address things here 
a lot of times about policies. Sometimes I'll touch on that. There are a number of websites that do that and do a great job at it, whether it's about disfellowshipping or child abuse or, or about the, the two-witness rule, whatever it is, there, there are a lot of good websites that cover those things. But we here at jwreasoning.com want to keep everything biblical as, as much as possible and very little commentary. So hopefully this video will help you to study a little bit, learn how to study independent of commentaries and basically a brand of religion. So until next time, I hope that this helps you and I hope that Jehovah blesses you in your ministry. Thank you.